Hello everyone, welcome to Algebra 2 with Mr. DeBoer. This is going to be a new course for you as well as for myself with this concept of the flipped classroom and as always anytime you undertake something new using technology there's a chance of having technology issues so to begin with I just wanted to get you my email get that out there that you can contact me at jdeboer at chatfield.k12.mn.us Anytime you come up with a technology issue, please email me as soon as possible so we can take care of it. Also, you can use that email to send any suggestions or concerns you have about the course, and just that's my going to be our general means of communication outside of the classroom is going to be through email. So please don't hesitate to send me an email if you have any problems. I would love to hear from you. Uh, for our first little online video lesson, we're just going to do a little introduction. We're not going to spend any real time getting into new math concepts or anything like that. This first video is just to make sure you were able to access the site and obviously if you're hearing this video you were able to access the site. So as long as you can do that and you can see the entire video and follow along as we go, we have then cleared the first hurdle. You're able to take this course by following along online, accessing the video, and following along for the course. To begin with, let's look at the student responsibilities in the flipped classroom. Things that you will do at home. Again, the word flipped classroom, as we discussed in class, is the idea that what used to be done in the classroom is now done at home. You'll be watching instructional videos where you will hear my voice presenting the material that would have traditionally been seen in the classroom. And on those videos, you will get all the information you will need to be successful in the course. While you're watching those videos, just like watching a lecture in class, you'll be expected to take notes on anything that you feel is important or things that I may have stressed throughout the video. Also, and probably the most important thing in my mind, is write down any questions you have after you watch the video. You will have seen some examples. You will have done some problems. And if there are things you still don't understand, you need to make sure you write that down so we can discuss it during class the following day. And at the end of each video, there will be a couple of quick questions that I will ask you to respond to. And this is not only to make sure you're watching the videos, although that does help. The purpose of those questions is to make sure that you are reflecting and thinking about what occurred during class that day. Now, what you will do at school each day. First thing, we'll start off every day by going over any questions we may have from the video the night before. Again, learning is a two-way street. In order for us to be a successful class, not only do I need to prepare good materials for you to learn from, I also need your feedback. I need to know what you know. I need to know how well you understand what we've been doing and what we have seen in the video the night before. If you come in with good questions, odds are not only you have that question, but someone else did as well. So if you're prepared with those questions, it will be helpful to all that are enrolled in the course. So please, make sure you have those questions. We will also be completing and correcting daily work throughout the class period. Traditionally, what would have been done as homework will be done in the classroom. So that way you will have the access to me as well as your classmates to go through and work on anything and clear up any issues you may have. And finally, you will take your assessments. Of course, we have to have tests. Just like any other math course, we will be taking assessments regularly, whether they be quick quizzes to check for understanding or tests at the end of a unit. Those assessments will be done in class, just like a traditional classroom. So, the big question is, as we're starting into our first day of class, what does tomorrow bring? What will we be going over in tomorrow's classroom? Because each day when you leave, when you come home and watch your video, you should have a pretty good idea of what we're going to be doing the next day in class. You will have seen the content, you will have gone over and, an and listed any questions you may have, so you're coming into class very well prepared. So let's look at tomorrow's class we're gonna have a discussion and in order to have a class discussion you must be prepared to answer the following question what is the most intimidating aspect of a previous math course you have taken for many of us 
there's areas in our life where we are easily intimidated. There's areas where we are defensive. We become concerned very easily. And for many of you, the area of mathematics has been one of those where we're hesitant. We're a little bit nervous about what will come tomorrow. We're a little bit nervous about will we understand what's going on. So I would like you to come up with something that you remember from a previous course that has been difficult. Whether it be concept of fractions, whether it be solving systems of equations, any different idea that you found difficult, or maybe a general just idea of math that you found to be a challenge. So each of you are going to come up with and write out something tomorrow in class in answer to that question. So if you would please, think about that before we come in tomorrow. So we'll begin class with a discussion on intimidating factors, intimidating aspects from previous math courses, so please be prepared for that. Then you will be taking a skills assessment tomorrow. It's a chance for me to find out what you know, and it serves multiple purposes. First of all, it allows me to see where we are at as students. What do we remember? What do we need to re review? What, where should we start our course? It also helps you in the way that it lets me know maybe we understand some topics that come up early in this course and we don't need to spend a lot of time on them. And so therefore, it helps me with the pace of the course. It helps me see what you need to be working on. So hopefully you were all able to watch this video. Hopefully we did not have any technological difficulties. If you did, please send me an email or let me know tomorrow in class. We'll see you tomorrow.